Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Everyone. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah and we have a couple of really interesting leaks that have come out regarding the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward that definitely puts a big question mark or answers possibly some questions to some of these big question marks we've had for quite some time while also opening up some new questions we have for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But real quick, if you want more content like this on maybe a faster basis, make sure you guys are following us on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below. We post a ton of content over there. Okay, let's go back to the video. We have news ranging from the future of Deadpool all the way to possibly the old Sam Raimi Spider-Man universe somehow and somewhat being resurrected again. And with all of these leaks, of course, we have to kind of look at it with a very skeptical eye, but some of this stuff sounds really cool and we definitely wanted to talk at least a little bit about all of these things and what this could mean for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what is going on with the MCU right now and what might be the plans moving forward to of course scale this behemoth of a legacy or movie series into something even larger than what we've seen already. Now this first story actually actually comes from an anonymous leaker, however, this person does have a decent track record. The leaker known as Roger Wardell on Twitter has apparently leaked some really big Avengers Endgame plots ahead of the release for the movie, including some pretty important plot points. However, while we see a lot of other websites covering this as kind of the verifiable source coming from leaks, from what research we were able to do, it appears that while the Twitter name does match up to the original leaks, all of the original tweets where these leaks from Endgame were originally posted have at least been removed or it's a brand new Twitter account. It's a little hard to say the Twitter account was only made on May 2019. It is completely possible the account had gotten suspended and then a new account was made and this could be the same person. It could still be a fake. However, it seems like a lot of people are looking at this account as a legitimate source. So we just wanted to kind of put all the information out there before we report on some of the huge things that were included in this drop of leaks that we recently got just in the past couple of days, but also some leaks that have gone back from a couple of weeks back as well. This first really big one, of course, is that Disney is planning on moving forward with Deadpool. We've talked a little bit in the past about a lot of speculation, whether or not Deadpool was going to even happen in the MCU moving forward. There was people who had worked on Deadpool 1 and 2 talking about how Disney had no plans whatsoever, but we've also heard Ryan Reynolds in the past talk about Deadpool 3 moving forward and it being in talks with Marvel to see what they want to do. Now this leak suggests that not only is Disney planning on moving forward with Deadpool, but they actually are considering taking a idea that was pitched by Ryan Reynolds himself back in 2019, suggesting that Deadpool actually manages to destroy or kill the Marvel universe that Fox had made, which is the whole X-Men universe with Deadpool and whatnot, and kind of accidentally destroys it slash merges into the MCU, which would explain how we see Deadpool, of course, in the MCU with maybe some of the levels that we had seen in previous movies, though this could still be very different as we've seen other reports as to what Disney wanted to do a few months back. But of course, this is just a pitch that had been leaked, not necessarily the plot points. The other interesting thing is that they're looking to Michael Bay possibly to direct this movie, which does seem like a very out there idea at first. But if you look at what Disney has been doing with the MCU and who they've been hiring as directors, it's not that crazy to think, especially since we've seen Sam Raimi sign on to direct Doctor Strange 2, which was pretty unexpected at its time. Now we got a couple extra little tidbits along the way in the past couple of weeks from Roger Wardell's Twitter account. One suggesting Captain Marvel 2 will offer some serious Star Wars vibes and they will introduce some evil scrolls, which would align more to some of the comic book plots we have seen, which would be interesting to see nonetheless. We may be seeing a new version of Wolverine in the future, and all we get from the tweet on May 30th is that essentially Logan may receive his combat nano suit from Shuri coming from a new type of material 
known as Antarctic Vibranium, which would be really interesting to see nonetheless. And then of course he has a couple other leaks dating back from a while ago, things we've even covered on this channel in the past, such as the Fantastic Four leaks suggesting John Krasinski would be jumping into the role, but it would be taking place in an alternate Earth reality, which may tie in of course to what the movie Doctor Strange 2 might be setting up to do. Now when it comes to Doctor Strange 2, there's been a ton of leaks across the board, and while we didn't get anything directly about who's being casted for the future of the Spider-Man universe or what is being involved in that. Roger Wardell did go ahead and tweet that there are some interesting talks going on with Disney and Marvel as of May 30th, and it might be something that will please many Marvel fans. We don't really know what that means to the fullest extent, but for the most part, it seems like people collectively like the way that the universe works with Spider-Man and Sony working together with Disney to do a ton of things with the character. And then we've had other leaks coming out from other sources, not coming coming from the same leaker, suggesting that just recently, Marvel has been in talks with Tobey Maguire, possibly reprise his role as Spider-Man, not for an upcoming Spider-Man movie necessarily, but for the upcoming Doctor Strange movie, which is really interesting and unexpected. But if we start to look at what's going on, we would have director Sam Raimi, the same director who directed those original Spider-Man movies from the early to mid 2000s, directing Doctor Strange, which is going to be this movie obviously involving multiverses and possibly having Tobey Maguire Spider-Man make his way into the universe could be really cool, or at least show that the existence of another universe has occurred already could be really cool and it could even just be a cool enough cameo to set up something down the road like a live action spider-verse movie now at the same time we have seen jk simmons the actor who was in the original raimi spider-man movies make his return in spider-man far from home which honestly was the first time we've ever seen something where the MCU kind of reaches back beyond the life of the MCU and brings something back. But of course, this is a different reality version of him. However, he did say, the actor himself, J.K. Simmons, said that he does plan on returning for up to three more appearances as his contract states. So we might see more of him in the future, we probably will, but maybe we're gonna see some more crossover stuff come up as well. That's really interesting for sure. And it just seems like there's some big things happening in the MCU right now, a lot of different talks along the way, some really interesting characters making their way in, which is kind of what the MCU needs moving forward with the loss of two massive characters, possibly three massive characters when Black Widow leaves, and that's going to be something that they're going to have to look at when planning the future of the series. So we definitely want to know what some of you guys think about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with all of this different information. Now, we know that this Twitter account can be something that people have mixed opinions on, so we really wanted to take some time to make it clear that these are just speculated leaks. We don't really know the full legitimacy coming from these tweets. There were some leaks that were supposed to be dropped just prior to Phase 4 starting off with the new Black Widow movie, but of course Black Widow ended up getting delayed, so we never really got to see if some of these newer leaks were accurate either. Some of these earlier leaks suggested a lot of different things, like in Thor 4 we're going to see a version of the Thor core which is from the comic books, which would kind of put a team together for Thor based off of some of the characters we would expect, along with a lot of new characters as well. But interestingly enough, would include characters like Groot and Gamora, which would be really unique at least. But once again, these are just like these earlier leaks that we don't really know if these have any way to confirm. And with the limited amount of information, the most upcoming leak possibly suggests General Ross becoming the Red Hulk which would make sense because of the character arc in the comic books. It is something that is kind of this big limbo state where we really want to see if some of this stuff ends up actually happening, because if it does end up happening, it will definitely be a game changer for the MCU. And they do have to go big. Fans have their expectations higher than ever. And I think that Marvel knows that and they know that they're gonna have to up the ante and do some big things if people are gonna stay invested in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for a long time. And just a few of these leaks, like Tobey Maguire coming back or something along those lines, gets fans extremely excited. And that's what Disney knows they have to do to keep the MCU going at the caliber that it's been so far. So let us know what you think in the comments 
down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys. Yeah. I'm about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> 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 See you guys.